Good morning, folks. Today we're going to share a paper that metaphorically knocked me over when I read it last night. Veteran observers and those who do their homework prepare for your validation. But first, let's go to spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star much quieter than the day before. There is one notable pop just north and left of center at a brand new active region, but the flare maker from before is turned out of view. The big spots on the south are lazily trotting through. Top left, you'll have to see the development of those new sunspots that made the surge northward. We're going to replay that surge here to fully appreciate the northward push of the plasma component rather than an ejected CME. Quick look at the solar wind shows a fair bit of variability, especially in the BY interplanetary magnetic field. Minor perturbations only, with no significant geomagnetic effect so far. Up first in the links is two on the Asian precipitation regime. Both this one and the next one are showing strong modulation by the AMO and the variability of that index, the AMV, and these are important large-scale patterns to small weather connections. And for the second time in a month, we remember that the AMO is strongly modulated by solar activity. That's page 117 in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, and it's on us to connect the dots. Up next, a story about a star they thought they knew. One that had been studied quite well as the first ever main sequence radio pulse emitter. And yet, despite that study, they concluded incorrectly about the star's circular polarization regime until today. Surprises, unexpected discoveries, rewriting what they thought they knew. Tis the theme of 2021 in astronomy so far. Cosmology fans within the observers watch the plasma theories nudge ahead a baby step as well today with the identification of cold plasma within a nova remnant. In this paper, they are using the absurd terminology, planetary nebula. They spot it from the higher density near the interior to the extending out of the hot plasma components as well. Now, folks, the disaster playlist has thoroughly covered a number of aspects of the Earth catastrophe cycle, from the types of biosphere stresses to the evidence in the past to looks ahead at safer versus scarier parts of Earth in the next one. But it all starts with the existence of that cycle, and are coming up on that cycle again now. The series started off with the 12,000 and 6,000 year cycles in Earth's climate, tied to geomagnetic intensity and the Heinrich events. We have gone over how the Sun's 3,000 and 6,000 year subharmonics of the 12,000 year cycle are the most likely candidates for those Heinrich and geomagnetic excursion schedules. Now this is what Dr. Robert Schock, Dr. Anthony Peratt, and now even Randall Carlson believe happened to disrupt the ice after the Younger Dryas. And today, we come to a paper that does the connect the dots exercise we've done over the last three years. The official name for the 6,000 year solar super flare cycle is the Heinrich Bond cycle, and there couldn't be a better name for it. The tying of this solar cycle to the 6,000 year Heinrich cycle as a half harmonic of the 12,000 year excursion cycle is probably going to be the paper of the year when I look back on December 31. This paper literally says what you have heard in that series about the 6,000 year half harmonic, the Heinrich events, and the solar forcing. And it is itself the half harmonic of the geomagnetic excursion, solar flash, and biosphere depletion 12,000 year cycle. Now for those who feel like there's been a lot of catastrophism news recently, yeah, but I can't make it up. There has been a jerking of the wheel of peer-reviewed journals as hundreds of professors and NASA scientists are starting to figure this out as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have more to report every single month than the entire field used to offer in a decade. Have you noticed what they noticed us noticing and took notice of themselves? I would if I were you. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.